Joshy. Welcome back, everybody, to Reform or Die. This is Josh127 here with me and Team Paradox Gamer Mad Jin. We are doing some cleanup work and writing out Regency. Sounds fun, don't it? This is probably oh, the yeah. last episode, by the way. Let's hope. Wow. That was an exciting intro for the last episode, wasn't it? It's been a long yeah. road. Zashi gets to end it. Because, I mean, there's only a couple places yeah. left to annex. And then after that, I mean, I don't think we need to go to 1821 just to finish soaking in vassals. Might be a small waste. A little bit. Unless, of course, we can handle the higher speed just to have a nice final picture. Yeah, yeah. I uh, might have to pause and reload the game for that just to make sure that my machine's not dead. Because I am getting a little stutter already. Still. Yeah. Actually, we might want to do that anyways. Well, we're in the middle of the episode at this stage, though. <laughs> Try and end it. Yeah, let's end it now. We'll make a new one later. All right. Congra. Time to die! Paradox, do we want to declare war on Ternati and I'll just go in and assault him down? Yeah, we can do that. And I'll just, I'll just hand him over to you. Yeah, so the total sum of things that need to die is like a few, few things in India and a number of little tiny OPMs. Right in here. Yeah, and then Champa, which is next on the menu after Manipur. And then you have to go get Pegu, mad, because I screwed up with that. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just need my uh, boats. I have, apparently. Very close by. Migration is a slow process. I lost Japanese as an accepted culture. Aww. Took a oh. long time before that happened. Cores have finished. Overextension has disappeared. Yay! But Perm is gone. Oh, uh, they got uh, noble rebels, Josh. Oh, bye bye. That just looks pretty. Mm -hmm. I got a ninety stack on the way. I hope I can take them. <laughs> no, no, they they had an army, but it's pretty decimated because as they oh. were marching out, they got rebels. So they only got a little bit left. Yeah, Phil kind of won this game. <laughs> while I go. I like half the time. world's tax. Yeah, no, I, I had no chance with the religious thing. Unless you just, like, died. But that yeah. wouldn't be fun. No, I had so many issues. I had issues. Good though, I probably, got, have a game I probably where you have issues got... and you get through them. Yeah, we still, well, still managed to eat enough stuff. But, yeah, so many little problems. Me yeah, now. this went much better for me than the Bosnia game. I had uh, a major mid game crisis in that one that cost me tons of time. Hmm. Yeah, remember that stupid queen? Yeah, I remember that. The freaking <laughs> that queen that wouldn't die? For you, for most of the game. I don't think Pasai is going to honor this ETA, are they? Yeah. Wish I had a queen that wouldn't die. Now uh, she died. She cost me over a thousand monarch points per category. It was bad. Where do you think you're going, Pegu? I uh, just is another island. Yeah, the one just south. Yeah, That's the only one, right? Buru. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna declare on Australia as well. I'm just gonna hand these over to you. Yeah, yeah. Do on that one, okay. Do we have anybody else that we need to clean up down All right, there? Can you take um, Pasai now? Can you piece them out? Oh, let's see. Maybe it's where one hundred percent now. Tampa's call. Yeah, but I don't think that. Got it. Uh, Good. Can a non-direct person actually hundred percent? Like full annex. Yes. It usually doesn't happen because the AI force pieces them out before you can do anything, but mm. you can do it. If you time it, it's actually possible to do as a non, as like an AI's ally when they yeah. call you into an offensive war. 
uh-huh. if you like assault them down and then pause it before the AI can react and pull annex them yourself or something, that'll work. Okay, I'm getting the slideshow, by the way. It's not letting me hand this other province over to you. Will it let you full annex them anyway? What? On Ternopi, will it let you full annex them? Because uh-huh. it's not letting me hand the other province to you. By the way, this is a great slideshow. I think it's stuck with one province I can go take. Uh, it, let's see. I, I can piece out. I can piece out ahead. Yeah, you need to take that province then. Oh, can I just take the province? There we go. I'll take the province. Yep, they gave it to me, and then you can piece out the other one. Perfect. Then I probably shouldn't take this Australia province down. And sell it to the source of the Aussies, if you want. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my diplomat, then we'll attack them. You broke your alliance with us? No. It just said you did. Not on purpose. Wow. Maybe auto. Yeah. Wait, Champa still his land? That was weird. Where's Champa's land? Yeah, the auto could be like. Oh, down there. Your provinces. Derp, derp, derp. Separate piece. I can handle that. Oh, you, oh, can sell, yeah, that you can sell. Yeah, you can sell that province to me now. Then, it, it, or can you core it yourself? I can't core anything over here, but it's only one percent, so I can just sit on it if you want. No, I think we should core everything. Sure. Yeah. So you, you just sell it to me. Oh no, I can annex dive yet because I have a met plus one forty four. Mm. And if I give them, I'll get plus 25, and each year I have them angry, decaying by 6. So That'd be close. In 3 years, they'll have 18. Yeah. Now I'll have this easy. Yeah. I can start it like almost as soon yeah. as possible. By the way, sorry for all the billion pauses, but um, I can't actually select or do anything when the game is running. <laughs> if I pause oh, the game, I can do stuff. But yeah, I know when that. When, uh, yeah, I hear my uh, graphics card going nuts. Yeah, well, I think it's uh, the the stop and reload. I'm running fine. Would actually uh, get it, but that's fine. I'm just assaulting stuff at the moment. I need to find out where these rebels popped. Doop de doop de doop. Sorry. I can't sell you that province until you're oh. done with the other war. So once you are, then I can do it. Yeah, I know. I should have waited a few minutes. Yeah. But we there's only those two. That's the, that's the end then of what yeah. we need out here in the islands, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, mm-hmm. those two left. So I'm just going to grab them. Yeah, this is so weird that when the game's paused, no problems whatsoever doing stuff. When the game's not paused, big problems. Caught up on coring mostly, although Shampa is going to put me back again. I at least hit the button for coring for a lot of stuff, so. There we go. Off the map you go, Shampa. Hey, did you know? I managed to get over 200,000 manpower. Oh yeah, it's coming up there. And now I'm assault stacking with my non-mercs. <laughs> This is too slow. I did to that wait. in Italy. Yeah, I've done that a lot. Spicy. I've done that a lot. This is just too slow to wait for that. I'm just yeah. gonna hit the assault button. Whatever. You don't need that don't, manpower. Don't need it. This empire was built on assaults for sure. Hey Trask, can you want to sell me that weird island? Which island? What was it? Naru. Oh yeah, here. I try uh, and get you a little closer. Closest? We can at least try. <laughs> I don't yeah, really like care too much anymore, but I guess it's good to try. All I ask in return is your soul. Oh, that's it. Not much. Nothing important. One island left. Oh. My How are you guys lead. doing in southeast? My diplo um, power is now going down by one per month. It once imagine at Annex is Pegu, there's there's nothing left there's in Southeast Asia that's not a subject. Yep. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, so that's why I said we're basically done here. Uh, and we're done in waiting for me to have another diplomat back. Deer, 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 deer. Oh, there it is. I got well over 500 provinces in my religion. I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> I managed to pull that off. And Inti did surpass Sunni. The first, yep. second, and third. I'm, I'm still flipping stuff. Especially Sunni. Oh, yeah. I am too. I'm still converting. I'm, I'm averaging like. Decent number of months here. Oh, I'm right. the admin advisor available though. Australia is the enough. last free nation. Do I care? I think I'll have enough there, admin. Is there any free nations left? Australia. What? Get him! I'm on it. Ink is on it. I can't. Remember, the game told me that I was done. Yeah. Sorry, you can't play. No play for you no more. What, you want to go to war? No, you can't do that. Yeah, because I'm just down to uh, hitting the uh, admin button, or, you know, core button once in a while. And oh, right, Josh, you can sell now. Yeah, that's about where I am as well. I have three more provinces to core. Obviously no problem before the end of the game. I have a few more than that, but... I'll get them done before the end of the game for certain. In fact, I would like to cancel this uh, vast integration act for a couple of years so they can build up some admin. Oh, sorry, I sold you for eighty-four ducats. That's if right. I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just hit the sell and, and hit OK. <laughs> That's fine. I think we're done now. What are you? What about you guys? Pretty sure we're there. Yeah. If there's, there are any tags left, I. Hang on, let's see player map. Looking around. Now it's not going to finish, is it? Where's the player map? There it is. Unless there's like some weird OPM somewhere. Um. Is there a player map? Yeah, it's there. Oh, I forgot, I was third, only getting the war. Third row, third across. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, got, islands. I got the long row. I don't have that third row thing. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah, I think uh -huh. so, too. Is there... Well, go to the militaries list? Or something like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, Swallow, UTA, Tarascan, Inca, VJ, Source of the Aussies, Shervan, Coruscant, nope. Algiers, Majapa, Hit, New Guy, Sindiviet. Our Don't tags us. are only us or subject nations. Yep. Say goodbye, everybody. That's <laughs> it. And I have over 500,000 troops. I do not. I could actually crank up to the full force limit at this point, but that would just be silliness. Build up a bunch of conscription centers. I have the money for it. No, I just I have the money to just spam it, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, score comparison wise, I think I actually just did pass the auto derps. Yep. Just passed them. The Ottomans are still gonna be in third place. No, not if we continue the next seven years. Yeah. <laughs> no, they wouldn't then. They would but be would bombed down. Catch them? Yeah, I think so. Let's see, they need 400... Be close 400 we can't declare any more wars so 20. we don't get that extra boost of points. Yeah. In 7 years 7, that's that's 80 times 7. I have uh, 824 yeah, provinces. No problem. He will pass no problem. Well, the dead don't get points, so meh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, canal would finish. I, I should get points for my canal finishing. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. we won't get to see my canal. You sure the canal will finish on time? It was going to finish in 1818, I think it is. Let's see. You says It says that now. Yeah, but I've taken the stuff for 1816, December 1st, 1816. I've I've been taking everything where I uh, take the points instead of extending it, and I've gotten several events to lower it. Lower the time, so 
I would have had my canal. If you guys wouldn't have won so fast, darn you. Darn. <laughs> and how are we doing on uh, vassals? How many would have been soaked in? Uh, a couple more. Well, oh, I could definitely than... soak no guy. It wouldn't even be close. And um, maybe divey it. it. That would be a little tighter because I forgot to factor the war thing. So they are at yeah. plus 127. I would need to have enough decay off. We we kind of made a mistake down there because since I was going to sit on the overextension, I should have sat on the diviet course. Oh, that's eh. true. I could just declare on them. Yeah, I've got <laughs> two more vassals that are going to go. So both go. Sind and uh, Shriven are going to disappear before the end of the game. Yeah, if we really, yeah, if we really done, wanted to, we could we declare on, on Mad and kill Algiers. <laughs> so, no, I'm so it's not worth in. it. If we were to end the game, that's what I would do. Like, I'd just declare war on my own vassal and full annex them for borders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would two stab hit me, but I could boost it back to plus one. That'd be no biggie. I'm still core it with the admin I have. Yep. So imagine you would have Algiers, Corazan, and VJ Anagar left. Yeah, but Algiers is yep. almost gone. Corazan and. Well, VJ is Norse, so. They're all good. Uh, unfortunately, Coruscant and Algiers are not. But, oh well. They're getting soaked. Not many uh, Catholic but, left. Yeah, religion-wise... There's no nation that has Catholic as its religion left in the game. Well, because no. they're all dead. But, and I would, know. um... <laughs> yeah, I converted away a lot of the Catholic, but not all of it. Some of that tax is just obscene. I was Norse trying to finish Great Britain. War? Paris and London both got converted. Yeah, Sunni. I if if we were continuing to go, I don't know how much of that Sunni I could get rid of. Could eventually. You have given enough time. Yeah. You could just build cathedrals everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's only a few places that I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I guess if we were continuing going, I don't have to core anything anymore. Let's just yeah. build cathedrals. It would be, the, uh, I would need like a lucky set of events to get rid of uh, Catholicism in Rome because it went up to 16 mm. tax. Oh. So mm. I, I could build a cathedral and I would still be minus 2.8% on that. I'd have to run policies. Which, yeah. to be fair, I guess I could do. If I went to 3 stab and ran policies, I could do it, probably. Yeah, my base missionary strength in Constantinople is 0. 0.2. Without a cathedral. Nice. So with a cathedral, it will be 3.2. Like it's a 15, yeah. Yeah, it's a 15 base tax. So I could convert Constantinople, no problem. I'm a little my disappointed one. that the um, Scandinavia is not Norse, because that is where it came from. Yeah. Well, not it's completely it. Norse, it's partially Norse. Yeah, it's getting there. It's also partially not a lot. <laughs> I try, I decided to try and get England done. So I, I was when I was looking at what I could finish, I was hoping to get all of England done, and then I was going to move mm -hmm. up there. But felt I had to get Paris. You know, oh yeah, you would have been city. able to do England. Oh. Yep. Well, um, that's about it. What other map modes are worthwhile? Oh, the local autonomy map mode. <laughs> I got lots of lots of green, but lots of nasty stuff. I'm going to be, like, all 75% virtually everywhere. Because I haven't been raising it, so I just take mm. a province in the old world and it's 75%. I guess, like, Ayuthai is 85%. And some of them are just randomly higher, but... I haven't raised autonomy, like, almost at all this game. There's I a can't winter's map it. mode. There's a what? A winter's map mode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I Do feel we, good about this game. I think, we I think have an was, empty space. I, what are we going to put in there? How about a winter map mode? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Winter's been there since the beginning, though, too. Yeah. Or else it came in really early. But no, I feel I feel good about it. I, I I'm glad that I came back from the early uh, defeats. They uh, were very painful, and I'm sure everybody could tell. <laughs> and not that I hit it very well. Um. But I'm glad that I came back and got back in the game. The Regency at the end is really disappointing, but, you know, that is part of the game, and it's in there, and you just got to deal with it. So. Yeah, it's just a matter of timing. A bit rough. Uh, it makes the ending anticlimactic, but what, whatever, what can you do? 
But over, overall, though, I'm happy with it. I'm happy that I got to break France and break Great Britain. I mean, I know I shared France after the initial one, and it probably made them, the second war was a lot e easier, or the third war was a lot easier because Inca came in and, and did a big number on them, too, and then they were just a cleanup effort. But I was, I'm glad that I got the good wars in with them to get my revenge. So mm. I'm going to point out that my uh, current error to finish off the game is at 101. <laughs> this is why I bend over backwards to go Republic, by the way. It's just for those, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just in case you missed me saying it earlier. <laughs> just in case. Just screw that crap. Yep. Ugh, so bad. Uh, what else is there? Anything of value? Relations? Mad, you did no. a really good job of pulling things together there at the end it looked like you know the last couple of years you took a ton of land and you managed to keep it all together you didn't fall apart to rebels or anything that was pretty cool too yeah that was more of a blah uh, hit start hitting admin efficiency and all of a sudden you just take everything raskin i i don't know what you did all the game i can't even he just find ate your everything country anywhere he ate everything really early and just kept going. <laughs> That's what he did. Where, where were you, man? <laughs> I was in China. It's a big place. Yep. You can get swallowed up there. You got to bust up the Iberians. Yep. My biggest oh. issue was uh, the Mamluks. Yeah. Uh, Timbuktu having that war while I was busy, so I had to give them a bunch of stuff. And. Well, I'm finding out that if you declare war on a protectorate of somebody in a coalition, that they'll call in the whole freaking coalition. <laughs> that was a fun war. Yeah. That was a fun war. Um, and the stupid queen of death. Who's not nice. Yeah, yeah. Ob obviously for me it was Portugal and Spain that was the big yep. issue in the beginning. And that's tough. You you build an army of big ships before you know the economy was a good spot to um, handle it, and you did take care of it pretty well. Yeah. Normally, but, I can't build, build a big good big big ship uh, fleet that early. Yeah. It had to be done. Yep. Just had to. I never did move my trade capital. No, I'm no. still Caribbean. I totally yeah, forgot about that. I forgot that as well. The Cape's I mean, only pulling in... We, we went to a point where we just... Economy was not really that important anymore. Oh, yeah. When we started landing in Europe. I never looked back. Yeah, yeah. I feel sad. I didn't actually get into Europe. Well, except for Greece, but... Yeah, Bottomans, that is, that is Europe. Anatolia is Europe. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't really count. So are the caucus to this. Yeah, I guess had I wiped out the uh, Mamluks earlier, like I was supposed to, um, getting into Italy would have been much easier. Or yeah. faster. Although I jacked Rome really early, because I wanted that missionary. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> like, you jacked Aragon. Yeah. And the border guard is not really that bad in Europe. It's it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of rough, but that's alright. <laughs> we, we, we did it a little, better a little bit way. of odd stuff up north. <laughs> yeah, there's some oddities in there, but it's not horrible. No. My lands are probably the only ones that are actually relatively uh, cohesive, or close to each other. Oh yeah, and I still have Maja. I totally forget. I keep forgetting about Maja. You zoom out. That other looks vassal. Like it's mine. <laughs> that other <laughs> vassal down there somewhere. Wow, my color is really close to theirs. It's not perfectly close. You can see it in Brunei if you zoom in. Yep. If you zoom out enough, it's really hard to tell that, like, Southwest Brunei's Majapa hit, not Taraskin. Yep, your, totally your, fit. Your color was really annoying when I was trying to figure out if Great Britain had any little uh, islands in the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, man, I totally forgot about these guys. I probably could have had these guys soaked in as well. Yeah. But now they, they kind of hate me because I keep forgetting about improving their relations. <laughs> oh, well. But they're Norse, so it's all good. And I have the source still. They never broke free. The only colonial nation in the world. Yep. And they only have a 23% liberty desire. Uh, anyway. 
I think that's about it. Unless, uh... Yeah, I think that takes care of everything. Yep. Well, guys, but, it was fun. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. This was my first, my first, uh, uh, recording of anything, so... It's been a lot hey, of fun. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, the, and the time on my, uh, that the robot ended is almost the exact year. It was 1812 on my phone <laughs> when the robot ended. So close. It is that late in the day. Wow. Yep. So. All right, then I'll stop uh, the recording here. Yep. For thanks, those for, watching uh, thanks for watching, Thank everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for playing everybody else who's actually here and talking. Thanks, okay. guys. See you guys next time.